Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank. I'm Burning Dog Face. And Lord Von Prong is still alive, which means I still have a job to do. Best get to it then. Alright. Time to rock face. I don't think they want that. We meet once again, Lord Von Prong. Less talking, more fighting, please. Uh <laughs> Let me get out of the way fast enough. to cancel out his healing mode. Just keep wearing him down. I just hope I can last long enough. Hmm. Should have brought more armor potions too. Ah, damn it! We at full health by now. Him. Oh, he heals to full every time he does that. That's, I'm missing something here. That has no effect on him.
piss drink. You know, I'm kind of surprised there are no orphans just in the yard here now that they've all been saved. There, now there's one. <laughs> You know, I went and did it. I looked into it, and yeah, I wasn't missing something. I was right about uh, just using the sword to keep him from uh, healing. Just gotta hang in there, I guess. This time, I've got 15 armor potions to help out. We meet once again, Lord Von Prong. Less talking, more fighting, please. Oh, that was the awesome armor potion. It's just not working very well. Damn it! Come on! It's not working! He just keeps healing! He's not even facing me! Man alive! Fuck this guy! Greetings, Armoryist! Let's see your weapon selection! Oh. Yeah, okay. I was actually kind of hoping for, uh... Some of that Hellfire stuff. Let's 
rein tippen. All the money I've spent. Oh, yeah. Uh, made by dragons for dragons. Full set. Good day, Bong. Can we do business again? Don't tell me I had the wrong one equipped this entire time. He did. I got the right one there. Good day. He shows prices. What am I doing? It's over here. Not at the top of the map, the top of the right of the map. Excuse me. Not shown there. About, uh, five and a half minutes of me fighting with no success. Running low on funds. I looked into it. Oh, and by the way, uh, I did discover that if you uh, use up all of an item in a slot down there in the corner, and then you buy more of that item, it automatically goes back into the slot. So that's nice. I looked into it, and, uh... Someone suggested on the internet that if you just keep hit whacking him with the Pronginator, that, uh, he can't do the Healy thing. If you hit him even once with any other weapon, he just heals from that. We meet once again, Lord Von Prong. Less talking, more fighting, please. That reminds me. Ah, yes. That's what I wanted. Sorry, I'm just really, really annoyed that that happened. Intend for that to go. Nope, I'm just gonna run away. As I can't have the orphan fucking everything up for me. Shall we try again? We meet once again, Lord Von Prong. Less talking, more fighting, please. <laughs> Great. 
He stunned me for the entire duration of the uh, move. Just as she has for most of Deathspank's long journey in search of the artifact. You've done more than defeat a local tyrant, Deathspank. Then she did the most peculiar thing. She reached down to Lord Von Prong's dead body, parted his aristocratic overcoat, and revealed a thong. Not unlike the purple thong our hero has worn for all his remembered life. The thong that has given him the power to be who he is. A dispenser of justice, a vanquisher of evil, and a hero to the downtrodden. Ha ha ha! I did it, Sandy! After all these years, we finally have the artifact! The, the artifact is not important, Espank. You see, we have a much bigger problem to deal with. It may not seem like it now, but you've done a great thing in defeating Lord Von Prong. The power of his thong had corrupted him into the evil, twisted, disgusting, pathetic, wretched... Right, I get it. Shriveled, grotesque, rotting... I think someone has some issues to work through. Horrid, barbaric... Don't forget opera loving. ...thing you see laying before you. <sighs> But we are not done yet. You see, the other thongs are still out there, corrupting those who wear them. And you are the only force that can defeat them. I am very close to writing a mistake made many years ago. Get your affairs in order and meet me on the other side of that gate. But hurry, we don't have much time left, and you may be shocked by what you find. Ah! Shocked by what you find is my middle name. The fate of the rest of the world depends on the dispenser of justice, the vanquisher of evil, and the hero to the downtrodden. I don't even get to have the artifact in my inventory. Man. I'm not happy about that fight. I'm really not. I mean, I actually tried that at first, but it didn't seem to be working, and now I realize it was because of, uh... You know, the orphans or the zombies or something. Maybe the chickens. Man alive! <laughs> Hello, orphan. I'm just trying to think this through to myself, and, uh... Honestly, on the normal difficulty, this game is about as difficult as falling down the stairs. When it's hard, it's because the enemies do way more damage than you were expecting, and you die in seconds. If you have any time, you know, to deal with the situation, you win. So, you know, just increasing the difficulty and increasing the numbers wouldn't make a difference, because that would just increase the amount of times that uh, the enemies just kill you before you can react. 
And that's not harder, that's just cheap. But this last boss fight... I mean, it's not the only enemy in the game that can only be defeated with one weapon, but the ghosts were immune to every other weapon. It didn't seem like I could kill them with, you know, my swords or whatever, my clubs, and then, oh, they regenerated because it wasn't that one specific sword. I don't know. I just was not happy about that. It's not enough to, you know, dampen my uh, image of the entire game, but after the whole game, you know, going through using whatever weapons and items and armor I felt like, just getting to the final boss and the only strategy is don't die and wail on him with his one weapon until he dies is not satisfying. Especially since I had to look it up twice in order to understand what I was doing wrong. Nothing funny down here. Let's get the fuck out of here. A sign for cheese. That is the uh, French word for cheese, fromage, if you're not familiar. Is that a crashed airplane? Deathspank! Thank the gods you're here! But that's a story for another time. I've grown tired and must rest.